But you know, I've got a thought. Can we not build a team of 10 and tell Dhoni, listen, forget being mentor, just captain the side. I, this, this is not, I mean, uh, before social media goes on and on and says, see, there a guy putting a dagger in Dhoni, uh, in Kohli's heart. No, no, no. I'm just trying to put it differently. See how defensive we get these days, man. What's the world coming to? His captaincy today was outstanding. He slipped one Moin Ali over, you know, he had to get that one over out. He slipped one Moin Ali over in. He promptly brought him on as soon as a power play was over, got one over out there. Look at Hazelwood's second spell. Hazelwood, you thought it's going to be the weak link. He was a fantastic back two overs. Gets uh, Deepak Chahar to give you three up front. Deepak Chahar says, I've got a cram. Is it nahi beta? Over complete karke jana. So I, I, I thought Dhoni was just fantastic uh, as, as captain today. Well, to add to what uh, Harsha said, I know I, I referred to it once and, and there will be comparisons with what happened recently at, at the Caribbean Premier League where Bravo was really injured. First five games, his franchise wins on the trot. Bravo then gets injured, doesn't play as captain or bowler or batsman. They lose the next three. He's still not fit. They bring him back as captain. Yes, in the first game, he pushed himself up to bat at number three, but that was not part of the plan. His part of the plan was to be the leader that they needed on the field. And that's what we saw, Joy, today from, from MST. Uh, absolutely. And there's this very interesting thing I was watching. Uh, you know, all of us were watching the match. And there was a particular point in the first innings where they've lost four wickets. And now the fifth wicket is also down because effectively Raidu is gone. And I remember uh, just before that, I think it was before the fourth wicket went, that Ravindra Jadeja and uh, Bravo were chatting. And if you saw the two of them, the calmness of the two of them, they're talking as if, you know, it's good, you're, you're, a, yeah. you're 70 for one with eight innings. And they're very calm about it. And that's such a wonderful, reassuring thought. You know, other teams will be biting their nails, they'll be looking at them and say, and they're like, yeah, okay, fine. You know, there's something happening out there. We'll sort it out. And that reassurance and calmness Bravo brings, Jadeja brings, most importantly, Dhoni brings to that team. That reassurance that it's never over till it's actually over. I mean, yeah. the fat lady actually needs to sing. Until she sings, it's never over with Chennai. <laughs> On this program, no lady is going to, no, no one's fat and no one's a lady anyway. But it's, it's interesting what you said because I remember Rayana telling me once when we were chatting, and he said, I'm batting and I thought, you know, I've we've got to get a move on. Let's go, let's play. He said, on the other hand, my boy is so calm. He said, why are you taking me? You know? I mean, it's not to say that Dhoni has has not had bad uh, bad tournaments. Dhoni has uh, 2009, 2010, T20 World Cup was Dhoni. But there seems to be, when he is captain of Chennai, it just seems to be different. I don't know if it's like, uh, would be a difference between Ferguson being manager of United versus Ferguson being manager of England anymore. But, uh, I mean, uh, he just seems so calm and completely in control. 